It's one thing to get a high paying job. It's another thing to be able to get a high paying remote job right now or whenever you want. And I have a feeling that many of you don't wanna wait and you wanna be working remote as soon as possible. This video is for you. And if I'm being honest with you guys, being able to work remote is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I grew up poor and then I had to spend six years of my life and six figures in student loan debt just to be able to get a good job and become middle class. And when I became middle class, I actually felt like I was worse off than when I was poor. Because when I was poor, at least I had free time. But when I got a job as a pharmacist, all of my time, energy, and effort was wasted on my job. And I didn't have anything left for myself. So it was out of the frying pan and into the fire for me. And all I wanted to do was escape. And then the pandemic came and a bunch of people I knew started working remote and I could tell that they loved it. All the while I was stuck working in the pharmacy 12 to 15 hours a day. So I started to see if there were any options for me to work remote. And after a lot of research and failing, I discovered the secrets to working remotely that completely changed my life. Secrets that allowed me to travel the world while I was working, save money by not having to drive to work and all the expenses associated with work, and most importantly, have more time and energy to do the things that I want. And the biggest secret is the job that you pick because some jobs don't have any remote positions. Some have remote positions, but they're very hard to land. And then some are almost always remote. And today I'm gonna to be sharing these jobs with you so that you can free yourself from the suffering of sitting inside of a nine to five box. And just like I did, achieve a higher level of time, location, and financial independence. So that you don't have to be like this guy who was rejected from 493 remote jobs in a single year. So go ahead sit back, relax, cheers the like button, and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an entry level energy auditor. And this is somebody who basically conducts home energy audits as well as company audits to identify saving opportunities and reduce environmental impacts. And typically you're gonna be working for a utility company, a nonprofit, or an environmental consultancy agency. And this role is kind of like being an eco detective, uncovering hidden energy leaks and solving the mystery of high utility bills. And unlike many technical fields that require extensive prior experience, this this position offers on the job training, which makes it accessible to a lot more people. And energy auditors make 64 to $111,000 a year. Now, some of the skills that you would want to have would be strong analytical skills, proficiency in data analysis, and a solid understanding of building systems. Now, some of the pros of this one are you get to contribute to the environment, gain technical skills in a growing industry, because the environmental industry is definitely going to be getting bigger over the next 10, 20, 30 years. There's lots of different types of alternative energy that are now being used, and there's potential for career growth. And and professional development. Some of the cons are you need to stay updated with the continuous changes in technology as well as regulations. But overall, I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote sales assistant. And there are many different ways that you can get into this role, but for this particular one, you'd be promoting financial services, such as various different types of debt solutions. And you can kind of think of yourself as a financial lifeguard, diving into turbulent waters to throw a lifeline of debt solutions to those struggling to stay afloat. And as this Redditor points out, the key to getting really good at these sales positions is understanding your product. So your product knowledge is incredibly important. And sales assistants make forty-one to $66,000 a year. Now, this is a relatively entry-level job. You don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into it. And I've said many times, sales jobs, I literally, if there's one job that I could recommend everyone does at least once in their life, it's got to be a sales job. It just teaches you so many unbelievably valuable skills. Now, one of the best sales jobs that you can actually get into would be in the technology industry, because the technology industry is probably the best industry to work in and the types of sales you do aren't really high pressure, you know, you have to close the sale right away type of thing. It's more of a long term relationship that you're building with people. And if you want to learn how to get into that type of sales job, I actually have a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pin comment below that a bunch of people on the channel have used. So that would be my recommendation for how you guys get into this one. But yeah, pros of this one are impactful work that helps clients regain financial control and you learn incredibly valuable skills and you have the potential to make a ton of money. Plus, there's lots of jobs down the line that make even more. Cons is it requires constant learning and adaptation to different you know, types of products, as well as the fact that you have a lot of pressure put on you. But overall, I really like this one. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an e-commerce specialist because who needs a storefront when you can master the art of online selling and all from the comfort of your own home. And this basically involves managing, pricing, promotion, and the overall presentation of all different types of products sold online. And it's a job that spans across various different types of 
types of industry. And the global e-commerce industry is expected to cross $6.3 trillion in 2024. Yes, that is trillion with a T. So there's a lot of opportunity for e-commerce out there. And e-commerce specialists make about $45 to $71,000 a year. So to excel in this role, you need to have strong analytical skills, proficiency in e-commerce platforms such as Shopify, and you need to have really good digital marketing techniques because you're gonna need to advertise this stuff. Some of the pros here are you have an access to a global marketplace that's worth literally trillions of dollars, and you have potential for career growth in a rapidly expanding industry. Some of the cons here is it absolutely does require continuous learning. There's always gonna be new e-commerce trends and technologies, and it can be incredibly competitive, especially if you're in a saturated market. Now, one place that brands like Mini Katana are going to sell their products is social media. For instance, you can see Mini Katana on YouTube and Instagram, etc., and they make all kinds of videos promoting their products. And if you wanna know how to use social media to promote products as well, AKA creating a personal brand and creating content in order to make money, just like I do and Mini Katana does, then I actually do have a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that you can access that will show you exactly how I did it and exactly how you can do it as well. And on top of that, I will have a live training at Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, which I'll go over some strategies with you as well there. And you can ask me any questions that you want. So yeah, definitely do not miss out on that. And if you're watching this weeks later, check the link because there's a good chance I'll have a live training at some point in the future too. But yeah, e-commerce specialist, I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an EDI enrollment specialist. So have you ever wondered who keeps the digital gears of healthcare turning? Well, there is a role for that and it might just be your new career path. And you can dive into the digital backbone of healthcare as an EDI specialist, where every detail counts and every connection matters. And basically what they do is they manage the setup and maintenance of electronic data interchange systems for healthcare claims, remittance, and fund transfers. And they typically work for healthcare service providers and revenue cycle management companies. And like a digital healthcare locksmith, you'll be fitting the keys that unlock financial transactions between healthcare payers and providers. And an unfortunate statistic is more than 60% of Americans deplete their savings to pay off medical debt. So you can see why this position is so important. So EDI specialists make about 50 to $81,000 a year. And some of the skills you're going to need are strong attention to detail, familiarity with electronic data systems, and the ability to manage multiple tasks. Some of the pros of this one are you play an integral role in healthcare. And there's also opportunity in career growth and specialization in various different healthcare IT related fields. And there tends to be competitive benefits and the potential for remote work. Some of the cons are it does require meticulous attention to detail. It can involve repetitive tasks. And of course, you need to stay up to date on frequently changing technology, regulations, healthcare, etc. But overall, I really like this one. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be an associate benefits advisor. Have you ever wanted a career that combines healthcare, technology, finance and sales, as well as the ability to be able to help people out? Well, that's exactly what this career offers you. And basically you're gonna be assisting clients in selecting healthcare insurance solutions. And you're basically gonna be offering them tailored solutions for their specific situation. And this is almost like being a navigator that helps clients choose the safest and most effective road on the journey to health security. And they make about 57 to $90,000 a year. So some of the skills this requires is strong communication, customer service orientation, but also persuasion skills and the ability to to obtain a health insurance license, but typically the company that hires you will actually train you and help you get it. Some of the pros here are competitive pay with commission incentives and comprehensive paid training. Some of the cons are there may be seasonal peaks and there's high responsibility and pressure to meet sales targets. So yeah, this one's really good. You can get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry and in finance industry like insurance. Also, of course, it's sales experience. Uh, this can lead to a lot of really good jobs down the line. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, comment below any of these that you like, ones that you don't like, ones that you think I should have included and there's a good chance it'll make it into a future video. Maybe I'll even make a dedicated video about it. Next is going to be a life and health insurance agent. And basically you're going to be meeting with clients to assess their needs when it comes to life insurance and health insurance. And they make about 69 to $125,000 a year. And this is a massive industry that has a ton of profitability and it provides stability for people's lives. So the skills you need here are the ability to pivot quickly. You need sales and persuasion skills. You need to have empathy and conscientiousness so you can understand the person's point of view. And you need to have a humble and coachable attitude. So the pros here are you have an opportunity to make a positive impact on clients' lives and you have potential for high earnings through commission. The cons are it does require patience and persistence to build a client base and it can involve handling emotionally challenging situations. But overall, I really like this one. Another great opportunity. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a recovery resolution specialist. In this position, you'll be managing incoming calls for customers that are seeking solutions for things like past debts, negotiating settlements, settlements and addressing potential fraud cases. And they make about 43 to $64,000 a year. 
And I know this might not be the most glamorous position to go into, and it might sound like you're just hounding people about their debt, but in reality, a lot of it is actually just working with them to come to a peaceful resolution. So in order to do this, you need strong communication skills, empathy, negotiation abilities, and a solid understanding of how debt and credit work. The pros here are you have an opportunity to make a positive impact on a client's financial situation, and there's potential for growth and advancement in the field. The cons here are you may be dealing with emotional customers and challenging situations, and there is potential for high pressure negotiations that you have to be able to handle. But overall, this is a really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break, so I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you wanna work remote and you want help doing that, uh, link is in the description and the pin comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a leave specialist. And this is where you manage employee absences and leave requests with finesse. And as a leave specialist, you'll navigate complex leave situations, ensuring compliance both with company policies as well as labor laws, and also keeping the individual employee and the company's needs in mind. So you can picture yourself as an invisible safety net, expertly organizing the leaves of absence puzzle so businesses can focus without missing a beat when people go on leave. And leave specialists make about forty-nine to $76,000 a year. The pros here are there's a lot of opportunities for flexible remote work and there's no certifications required. The cons are you have to handle complex leave requests and make sure when that person is gone that they're actually covered for. And this means that you basically have to call around to a lot of people and make sure they're covered. So it requires meticulous organization and communication. But overall, this is a pretty good one. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an appointment coordinator. This is somebody who manages schedules, arranges meetings, and ensures appointments are booked efficiently. And often they work in industries such as healthcare, beauty, or consulting. And this is almost like conducting an orchestra, harmonizing schedules to create a seamless symphony of efficiency. And appointment coordinators make about 37 to $51,000 a year. So this one's super easy to get, not as high paying as a lot of the other ones, but super easy to get into. Some skills you need are of course, organizational skills and attention to detail. The pros here are you have very different responsibilities and it is fast paced if that's what you like. The cons here are there is a lot of administrative of burden. But overall, I like this one. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I did a video that went absolutely viral. People loved it. And that was the seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring. You can check that out by clicking right here.